My name is Pete Skirbo, and I'm the Executive Director of Comprehensive Behavioral Health Care. And I've had the privilege of knowing Gabe Ambrosio for over 40 years. Gabe was a very caring and compassionate man who was always willing to help those in need, especially the mentally ill. Gabe was a founding member of the Board of Trustees of Comprehensive Behavioral Health Care. He was part of a small group of concerned citizens from Lynnhurst who wanted to do something about an emerging drug problem that was impacting the youth of the town during the late 60s. So he drew up the incorporation papers and this newly formed board started a community mental health center in 1969 that was originally called South Bergen Mental Health Center, later to become Comprehensive Behavioral Health Care. My brother Gabe was known as a liberal. Uh, he was a caring person. He was a, uh, who believed in public service. He believed in government actively involved as an instrument for good and, know, and knew that only through the resources of government could you do the things necessary to make society humane. My dad was, you know, busy in so many different things. He was a lawyer first, um, but the primary thing that I remember growing up is that he was a politician and that that was his true love next to golf. Um, he really loved to represent and work for people. He truly, if someone needed help, it was going to get done. Over the years, Gabe not only served as the center's attorney, he also served on the board of trustees, eventually becoming president. In addition to successfully practicing law, he went on to become a state senator where he served on the Human Services Committee. He never forgot about comprehensive behavioral health care and he would frequently call to tell me about proposed mental health legislation and its impact on our consumers, CBH care, and the entire community mental health system. Gabe was always there when we needed him, especially when we opened our first group home in Lyndhurst. 10 to 15 years into our existence, we began to undertake a project where we established some group residences. And those group residences turned to be pluses to the community. Our clients wind up being neighbors to the people on the block so that people have come to accept our group homes as part of their community. And one of the other things that has uh, occurred over the years is that the, the stigma of mental health is slowly disappearing. We understand that our clients are just regular people that have some problems like all of us have. You deal with them and you become a member of the community and, and they are no different than anybody else. They're just members of the community. And I look at CBH Care as sort of one of my children that I have to make sure continues to go on the right path. It's like your child asking you for help. You cannot say no. What keeps coming to me is um, passion. My father being extremely passionate about the work that he did. It didn't matter if it was his golf game, watching football. It didn't matter if it was politics and being a lawyer. It was about passion, and it was passion for people. His life's work was about advocacy for people. It showed in so many different ways. When I um, got out of school and started my career as a social worker, uh, CBH Care became my um, very first really significant employer. Good afternoon, CBH Care. What drew me to CBH Care is the mission, which is to help the neediest of the needy, the people that can't advocate, the people that need a voice and need someone to stand up and take care of them and help them. My dad did that on a political level and on a, on a legal level, and now I'm doing that on a social, work, a social work level. For the past 12 to 13 years, Gabe had become more involved in CBH Care Foundation, where he was a charter member and co-chair of the golf outing committee. The annual golf outing became the center's primary fundraising activity. Even in the grips of a terminal illness, he actively participated in almost all of the preparation meetings for last year's golf outing. We at Comprehensive Behavioral Health Care will never forget about Gabe and his many contributions to the success of our organization. When you help those who need help, the less fortunate, uh, that's, uh, that's doing God's work. 
throughout my career and throughout the work that I did at CBH Care and the people that I worked with, both the staff um, and the consumers, what I came to realize is that while I thought that I was impacting their life, in reality, it was the other way around. They taught me humility and compassion, strength. They work so hard to get out of bed, to face the day, to make strides. They're people and they love the same, they hurt the same, they feel the same as we all do and that should never be diminished. The celebration of his life with this tournament is something that we think is very appropriate. We like to do it every year, to remember his memory and to remember the good things that he did and, and to advance those causes that he believed so, so dearly in.